Minutemen and Jets in a playoff game on the same day for only the second time ever and first time since 1981. We start in the Philadelphia Giants losers of six of the last eight, jumping with the Eagles team on a five-game run. Brian Dawkins, one of the best team captains in sports. Tiki maybe his last game. Opening possession, get some. Eli Manning to Plaxico Burris. Plax had 10 touchdown catches during the regular season. Season seven zip Giants. Second quarter, Eagles down seven zip. Brian Westbrook went off with a wall of blockers out in front of him. Westbrook on his giddy up. 49-yard touchdown play for Brian Westbrook. It is the longest rushing touchdown in Eagles postseason history. Big ups to Brian Westbrook. Still second quarter. G-Men down 10-7. Eli to Jeremy Shockey. Shock and awe and without headgear. They don't teach you this in Pop Warner. Three catches, 25 yards for Shockey. And all kinds of man style. Get up. Getting popped, no problem. Four plays later, ball in the Philly 44. Tiki Barber, as cool as the other side of the pillow. His 1,662 yards this year, the most ever for a guy in his last season of play. He had a buck 37 in this game, only his second career postseason 100-yard game. That led to a field goal, we're tied at 10. Next possession, Philly, Garcia, with the radar lock and Dante Stallworth. The three-time Pro Bowler, Garcia, 5-1 as a starter this year. Eagles up 17-10. Fourth quarter, Giants down 20-13. Check out Lito Shepard, the Pro Bowler, injured on the play. Here's how. The left leg of Jaquay Thomas collides with the right elbow of Shepard, left the game, dislocated elbow, did not return. That would hurt. He is a pro bowler later in the same drive. Tiki Barber stopped initially on third and one, bust through. Looks like he has the first down, but they spot it short. Tom Coughlin challenges. On the replay, got the first down, then his knee hit. Call overturn, Giants first down. Next play, false start. Called on Giants, David Deal, five-yard penalty. Next play, first and 15, another false start. Chris Snee, another five yards. Next play, first and 20. Nice screen to Tiki Barber. But see what 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 ha happened was, so, huh, he did another flag holding on Chris Snee. Giants lose 20 yards on three consecutive penalties after an incomplete second and 30. Plaxico Burris, saucy. He had five catches for 89 yards. That's for 18. This is for 14. And remember, last year in the first playoff game for the Giants, Plax had as many catches, John, as you and I together. He had none. This one, touchdown. Plaxico Burris, two touchdown catches. We are tied at 20. Next Eagles possession on their own 34, Brian Westbrook. Rhythm and rhyme and harmony. Nine career regular season 100-yard games, first career postseason 100-yard game. That's for 11. This is for 13. Kid had a buck 41 on the ground, third most ever for the Eagles in a postseason game. Coy Detmer practicing the what, John? The hold. The hold. The hold. Critical. Critical. Three seconds left. David Akers. Chance for glory. Tiki looking on as his career maybe comes to an end. 38-yard field goal attempt is good. Eagles win it 23 to 20. And you, Coy Detmer, <laughs> much more popular than Tony Romo. Tom Coughlin, Bowman. Could this be Tiki Barber's last game in uniform? Getting a whole lot of love from Eagle players after the game. They don't have to tackle him anymore. He leaves welts when you tackle him. Tiki, 3,522 yards his last two seasons. Nice career, but it's over. Eagles win it 23 to 20. There have been 420 postseason games in NFL history. This was only the third in which the winning score came as time expired in the fourth quarter. Huge, huge second half of the season for the Eagles. And after the game, everybody talking about manning up. These games are always <clears throat> knock down, drag out uh, battles, and uh, this was no different. And. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it was just, it was a heck of a football game, man. You got to, you got to love it. This team has that thing that you can't measure. They got their heart. And um, teams that have their heart, you never know how far they could go. I think we learned a little too late this season when to shut up. You know what I mean? Honestly, we shut up the last week and 
it was too late. You know, we had already caused enough stir up and with everything, you know, from from out being our coach, I played to retirement to, you know, players supposedly calling out one another to everything that was made up in the media. It's very frustrating, there's no doubt. You know, it's very frustrating to to be in a position to win a game and not win the game. You know, I mean, it's very frustrating. Let's not let's not let's not lose track of the good things as well. I know that we're in a mood, we've been that way most of the year, where it's all negative, but it isn't all negative. I'm proud of what our team did. We, we hung strong, and despite some inconsistencies and, uh, uh, and, and missed opportunities, we did what we needed to do to make this game close. Unfortunately, they were just a little bit better, and uh, they go on and we go home.